You've been told you need at least eight glasses of water a day, but is that true? We're gonna answer that question coming up. Welcome to Family Med. I'm Dr. Richardson, and this is your home for practical and accurate information to help your family make healthy decisions. This is the channel that focuses on bringing better health to your home. Welcome to the winter series that we're doing here at Family Med, where we answer your questions. Now, if you have a question for us to answer, leave it in the comments below, and we'll try and address it in a future video. And so you don't miss out on any important questions, make sure you hit that subscribe button and follow along with us. So today, the question that we're going to try and answer is, how much water do I really need to be drinking every day? This is a question that, believe it or not, doesn't have a specific evidence-based answer. In reality, it's an answer that will actually vary between individuals, as well as on what activities each individual is involved in. Now, we do know that water is a vital for our survival. It helps us get rid of waste, keeps our temperature normal, lubricates and cushions our joints, protects our tissues, and affects the body's ability to function in really every way. So, getting plenty of water should always be a focus for us. Because we lose water every day through perspiration, breathing, urination, and bowel movements. And depending on how much of that we're doing will determine to a great degree at how much your body's going to require. There are some good targets to shoot for though. The old recommendation of drinking eight glasses of water a day still holds pretty true. This, can go, this goal can meet the needs of most people. Now another suggestion that I give frequently is drinking about half your body weight in ounces a day. Others recommend 16 cups of water for men and 12 cups of water for women. So as you can see, they're varying recommendations. And really, one is not necessarily better than another. So, what's the best way to decide? Well, your body typically is pretty good about telling you how much water you should drink. You should be drinking frequently enough to avoid being thirsty, and watch what your urine looks like. If it's clear to light yellow, then you're probably drinking enough water. If it's dark yellow and has a strong smell, you aren't drinking enough. This is especially important when you're out in the heat or working out. You should be urinating at least every couple hours, and your urine should be fairly clear. Now, when it comes to what kinds of fluids you should drink, water typically is always best. It's good to avoid a lot of empty calorie fluids found in soda, juice, or other sweetened drinks. Although, purely for you know, fluid requirements, these still would count. But you should also be careful with caffeine products like coffee, as well as alcohol, because these actually act as what we call a diuretic. They make you pee out more than you're taking in. Now, it's possible you could drink too much water. Electrolyte replacement could be important if you're working out and sweating a lot, as well as at times when you're sick. And also, if you find that you're urinating all the time and are still thirsty despite drinking a lot, then you should go see your doctor. This could be an indication that something else is going on. Now, these recommendations should apply for most people who are generally healthy. Now, if you have special medical issues like chronic kidney disease, heart failure, or other chronic conditions, always consult with your doctor about what's right for you. So, the short and simple answer is, for most people, drink enough water to keep your urine mostly clear. Well, hopefully you found this to be helpful. If so, do me a favor and give this video a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do so by hitting that notification button as well so you don't miss out on the next episode if I have a question. And if you have a question that you're dying to find out, then ask below. We'll try to answer it in a future video. So until next time, this is Family Med with Dr. Richardson. And remember, take care of your body, because it's the only one you have.